I have been obsessed with Claude Code for the last eight months because this is the tool that will actually make you a top 1% software engineer, even if you have no prior experience. With Claude Code, you can code, plan, test, and deploy features faster and more efficiently than a whole team of developers. And so in this video, I'm going to be revealing the seven level pyramid to becoming a Claude Code expert. Even if you're a beginner, I'll cover all the lessons I have gathered over the last eight months, and I'll give you powerful Claude commands to integrate into your own development workflow. So I hope you're ready for this Claude Code Masterclass and let's get started. So the first layer of our pyramid is our foundation. And for that, let's talk about the installation of Claude Code. You can access Claude Code on the web via claude.ai slash code, and you can use the desktop app or you can use the terminal. For this demo, I'll show it to you in the terminal since that's what I have been using. So you go to claude.ai, grab the installation command and paste it into your terminal. Now, anywhere you want, just type Claude and right there, it'll spin up a Claude code session. From here, you can start up a project, or if you want, you can pick your favorite IDE, whether it's VS Code or something like PyCharm. It has integrations with both platforms, so you can use Claude code within it. The second layer I got for you guys is to pick your AI teammate. And this is something I wish I knew earlier, but choosing the right model matters a lot because each model is optimized for different things. Their newest model, Claude Opus 4.5, is their smartest model that is best for planning and handling ambiguous tasks. I would think of Opus as your senior engineer who is great at thinking through hard problems. Then I would use the model Claude Sonnet 4.5 as the engineer who ships tasks quickly. Opus is great for planning, Sonnet is great for execution. To put this in a practice project, open an empty folder type Claude. Now we have a session running. So let's start off with running slash model opus because first we need to plan our project. Then say something like help me think and plan through the foundation of a brand new project. Design a very simple to-do list app where I can add and list my tasks. Using opus here is super important because it takes its time to lay out a thoughtful plan for how the project should be structured. And once again, this is something a senior software engineer typically would do. Once opus gives you a plan you're happy with, that's when you you can switch models and you can run flash model sonnet and say, all right, now follow the plan and build it. Sonnet moves much faster in terms of writing code and generating files. All right, so this is cool right now, but still we're treating Claude code as just a chatbot. I want to elevate it further and treat it like a true teammate. We need to move on to layer three and we need to set up AI team rules. A chatbot will listen to you and follow instruction. A teammate can collaboratively work with you and get you what you need as you need it while following the rules that you set. To accomplish this, we need to go inside your repository and create a markdown file called claude.md. This is basically Claude's memory for your project. It's where you explain the rules for how you want things done. For example, you can write something like, when creating a new function, always include a one sentence description of what it does. And then Claude will do that every time you create a new function. But beyond just that, you can put things like branching strategy, commit style, coding guidelines, and testing rules. Claude automatically loads this file every time it works on your project. So it's like an instruction manual for your AI teammate to always follow perfectly. The second file you need is prompt.md, which stores your reusable prompts. For example, let's just say you have elaborate test cases where you want functional unit and web driver tests anytime you write any UI components. Well, instead of writing up that feature and then requesting Claude to create all of that, all you have to do is write that prompt inside the markdown file, prompt.md, and then whenever you create that UI component, you just have to type at prompt.md in your Claude code session. And it executes it right away. And just as always, the more detail you include, the better results you'll get. All right, so at this point, we have covered the basics of using Claude code, but to really level up, let's talk about layer four, AI debugging. And this is one of the places where Claude code feels pretty magical. If you've ever built something on code, you've definitely faced a situation where your backend works, your test cases pass, but for some reason, the UI looks funky. And it could be as simple as the spacing is wrong or the color is off, some CSS issue. And I don't know about you, but I hate CSS more than anything in my life with a deep passion. I am anti-CSS and I have been a software engineer for many years and never in my life would I consider myself good at CSS. I would rather run multiple marathons on an empty stomach than deal 
with CSS issues. I'm that serious. But anyways, the nice thing about Claude Code is all you have to do is take a screenshot of your broken UI, paste it into Claude Code, and then say, turn this button blue. And it'll immediately fix any UI issues and get to the root cause of it and propose a clean fix. This is way better than going through Stack Overflow because it has access to the code base and it can see the UI that it's rendering. So it's a quicker and more accurate fix. The next layer I got for you guys is AI enhanced multitasking. And this really boosted my productivity with Claude Code more than anything else. Early on, I treated Claude Code like a basic chatbot. I would ask a question, wait for the response, then ask the next question. But actually Claude Code has a messaging queue feature, which actually lets you queue tasks while it's still working. For example, on a project, you can say refactor the bug list to support filtering. And while that is executing, you type in update the API documentation and then add two integration tests for the filter behavior. Instead of waiting for each task to finish, you drop them into the queue and Claude processes them in order. In my mind, I think of it like I have a bunch of different interns ready for me and they're all doing these mini tasks. And as soon as they complete one task, they have a whole bunch more that they're ready to do. And I think of them as interns because all these simple tasks that you give Claude code to do, you should be able to focus on higher level things like planning for the future in design, architecture, and problem solving solving rather than dealing with nitty gritty work. All right, these final two layers are the two that will actually make you stand out, master and become a 10x developer. Because we don't want Claude Code to make us just equivalent to the average software engineer, but we want it to make us 10x more productive than the average software engineer. So for layer six, I got ultra planning. Claude Code has this thing called plan mode, which is arguably the most powerful feature in Claude Code. And it is great with the model Opus 4.5, which I brought up earlier. When you enter plan mode, Claude doesn't write code immediately. It analyzes your requirements and sketches a detailed plan based on the prompt. But the real pizzazz for me was in the fact that you can control how deep you want Claude Code to think. You have three levels, think, think hard, and ultra think. For simple tasks like reading naming a variable or fixing a typo, you just ask normally and it thinks. For medium complexity tasks like rewriting a function, you tell Claude to think hard and consider edge cases or performance trade-offs. For deeply complex tasks like refactoring an authentication system, you explicitly say ultra think meaning you want maximum reasoning and caution. And pairing this with plan mode is insanely effective. It's basically the equivalent of, I want you to think like an intern, think like a junior engineer, or think like a senior engineer for think, think hard, and ultra think. But beyond just that, you can implement sub agents. You see, in software engineering teams, you typically have many software engineers. And if you have a task at hand, you might talk to three different engineers, collaborate, and come up with a plan. And one engineer might have something different to say compared to a second engineer. But now, sub-agents in Claude Code, you have that all at your disposal. Essentially, if you have a task at hand, you can have multiple sub-agents create a plan independently, and then you, the human, can be the tech lead on your team and decide which plan you want to implement. And then in terms of the implementation, once again, you can have a sub-agent handle the back end, one handle the front end, one handle test cases. And then once again, you as a tech lead can manage these sub-agents and oversee everything and ensure everything gets put out properly. And over this last year, I have interviewed many tech CEOs and they have all confirmed the idea that we as software engineers are gonna become software managers over teams of AI agents. And so begs the question, how do you become a software manager? Well, through call code, you effectively have your team of agents or sub-agents and you sit at the top and manage all of their planning and execution. All right, I know what you're thinking. We're using Cloud Code to basically code and build projects all locally, but what if I wanna share this with the world or collaborate with other human beings? So for the final layer, I got AI enhanced collaboration. So you know GitHub, yeah, it has a Claude code integrations in GitHub Actions. And this one actually blew my mind when I saw it. You can configure Claude to automatically review pull requests by examining diffs and scanning for security issues. Yes, even when you leak your API keys. And if you want to do something, all you have to do is tag Claude just like you would tag any other human engineer and say, hey, do this task. And so this way, when you're collaborating with your other human teammates, you basically have an AA engineer at your disposal reviewing your code and doing any tasks that you guys 
really don't want to do. Well, that's about all I have in this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. If you are ready to take your career to the next level, definitely please check out Claude Code on Max Plan. It will change your whole development experience so drastically. I have a link for it down below in the description. And just as always, if you're interested in my tech newsletter, link for that is also in the description. And if you're interested in what software engineers actually do on a day-to-day -day basis, you might want to watch this video right here.